So, as you can see, this is a, a little bit of a different thing today. Um, today, as you can see, I'm. this is my hands. I know, I think you have never ever seen them before. Um, not very model-like, not gonna... <laughs> Not gonna lie, but I just wanna do something different today. Um, I thought about recording another summary video and stuff, but I thought, well, no, I'm gonna do something different. And so I'm gonna uh, quote unquote draw something. I'm not gonna draw anything, but the thing is, um, whatever I'm gonna talk about, and I have a little bit of a tiny list there and a few questions from uh, Reddit there. And um, this is what we're gonna essentially go through today. So it is kind of basically, you could say a Reddit video, but, 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 but I'm talking about it in a different way. And I maybe just also be able to just visualize things better, um, which is going to lead to better things, I guess. I hope maybe I'm actually going to do this thing always. I could definitely also just have, well, you know what I could also do? I could also record my fucking face and put it somewhere. This is something I could also do. Yeah, but anyway, so the first few things I just want to talk about, um, what I think or what I thought about are some topics. Um, the first one is actually, um, can you see this? Yes, it is changing up things. And I have actually realized that changing up things is a pretty huge thing and it can be a pretty important thing as well, especially because we are in fucking quarantine. And I don't know the symbol, but I think it is something like that, isn't it? You know, the radioactive symbol? No, it's not like that, but it is. Yeah, I think it is actually like that. And um, why, well, does, does this actually make sense? I don't really know. I don't really know if the symbol or just the context of just uh, just something toxic is like quarantine thing, but I think it is somehow. And yes, there it is, some sort of, not really, but uh, kind of like that. And um, the thing that I've seen is that I'm always every single day doing the same fucking thing, same, always. And it is something that I've, uh, that I think a lot of people are doing. So it's not just only me, but I think it is just way more fucking people that are doing that. And I think this is, it's not a mystic because I think it is just something that's pretty natural to us. And it is just something that, that we do. I mean, we have certain habits and routines, you know, that we all use for our fucking videos because our routine is so... <laughs> No, I'm seeing it just really often. And then, you know, I think like, well, it's cool if you just want to show me your routine and stuff, but but I don't know. Like, do I need it? Maybe it's, it's actually pretty cool. Like I'm not, well, anyway. <laughs> and so we all have our habits and routines and just things that we're doing every day. And and I think that we should just change them up a tiny bit so that so that our day as a whole is just a little bit more interesting. You know, because if I just fill my day with the exact same thing in the exact same way, especially as well, every single time, then of course I'm going to get bored and of course I'm going to get depressed and shit like that. But if I'm just doing things slightly different from time to time, then I believe at least, and I've also seen it, that um, that I feel better. You know, when I, for example, I mean, when I go out into nature and stuff and... Um, and if I just also discover things, like in my hometown, there's definitely just a lot of places that I've uh, never actually been to, you know, or just actually hang out with friends or just, I don't know, actually indeed just also kind of uh, looking into some buildings that I've never been in and actually discovering some, you know, shops or some, uh, also some empty buildings, you know, where nobody's actually living. Yeah, obviously, because it is an empty building. But I have seen that it is actually a pretty huge thing. So uh, I don't know, like it doesn't necessarily also just changing up things it doesn't necessarily have to be that you just do something new. It doesn't have to be the case. You know, you don't have to do something new, but you're already doing a lot of things. You're already having your habits and your routines. And so just changing them up a little bit. But I, I don't want to say not in a way that you're going to quote unquote lose your habits you know, or lose your routines and you're going to neglect them. This is not what I want to go for. But but as I said, I mean, your way home, do it differently, uh, eating things at different times, eating different things, uh, eating things in a different way, use the smaller spoon in terms of in, in just, and yeah, <laughs> and not the big spoon and all sorts of things. Like I believe that just changing up a lot of things is a fucking huge deal. And I totally believe that it is also worth it. And uh, it's a pretty cool thing. And by the way, I can actually draw quite well. 
um, I mean, just graphic design, graphic design school, and just drawing a lot, everything like that, it can actually get you pretty far. And I do have to say, um, this is actually, I think, one of the areas where you can definitely say that with time and um, an effort, but actually quite a lot of time, um, you are going to progress. You're, you are going to get forward. Um, because, you know, I mean, if you're just doing it every single day for like seven days a week, even though we have not been doing it for seven days a week, and this is definitely not seven days, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, um, it is quite a lot of time. And it is also time if you're just doing it in school that you don't lose at home quite. And nobody would actually say like, okay, I'm going to sit down for three fucking hours today and draw something because I want to practice it. It's just not something that everyone is doing. But in school, it's cool. It is totally fine. You know, we have been doing this and it is cool. You know, you, you have to do it if you want to or not. And so, so I don't know. If you want to learn drawing, then I think just get into a course or something else. I think it really is a good thing. Yeah. Uh, another thing that I'm having here on my little tiny list with just all sorts of other nonsensical stuff is uh, the workout plan. Um, because, you know, it's very good if I can draw something there. At this point in time, for people that are interested or are, for people interested, for people that are interested, for people that are interested, um, if we think, well, I could actually also use this anyway. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm having a upper, uh, upper and lower body split, which means that on one day I'm going to train the upper body and on the other day, on the following day, I'm going to use the lower body and I'm going to have it like this. And this is rest, which is Sunday. Sunday is my rest day. Tomorrow is Sunday. Today, I've had my lower body workout already. And I'm actually also going to go outside, even though I don't know if you can hear that, but it is really rainy outside. Is it changing? I'm actually, the, the con construction thing that I'm having there is not stable. <laughs> And this is definitely a little bit of an just um, underestimation, if you know what I mean. You know, it's it's really, really unstable. Um, so the thing is, uh, workout frequency and workout volume are both just really important things. But I think especially frequency, which means that I'm going to have three times of, of upper body. And I'm also having three times of lower body each week, which is really a lot. I mean, if you're just doing, um, for example, what could it be? Uh, just, I mean, you could also just be doing like just full body. You know, you're going to have full body there, full body there, full body there and there. And so you have just six times a week full body. And so every muscle group. But the problem is if you're just only doing like just uh, Monday is chest and then you're going to have like, I don't know, just uh, the next. So every Monday is chest day. And if you're just working on one muscle only once per week, then for me, at least, it is just way too low. And also, if you're just doing it like this, you know, working out three or maybe more times, it depends on the split and stuff. Uh, if you're doing this, then you don't have to completely kill yourself on Monday with your chest. But you could just be killing yourself a little tiny bit, just a little tiny bit, um, on just Monday and also on Wednesday and on Friday. And this is also completely fine. You know, it really depends on just the weekly sets that you make apparently you know i'm just learning every single day additional to that but let's actually head into some uh reddit questions um can you completely remove negative thoughts i i don't know like what i've been thinking about as i've been reading it was that if if there's something happening then there's our response uh, or there's actually time and then we have our response you know, and so if something happens, something happens. And by the way, I hope that you can read it. I'm I'm not having the nicest handwriting, but but also because I'm just talking over it, should kind of be fine. <laughs> and there's our response. You know, it's and sometimes I feel like that people think that it is like this that there is something that happens, and then it is in just directly afterwards. It's our response. But it's actually not how it works. You know, we do have some time to think. It is something that's incredibly, um, incredibly difficult, I think, to quote unquote realize that we can actually just don't have to be angry or we don't have to be sad or we don't have to have negative thoughts. You know, because if something happens, which is then going to lead to negative thoughts, we have time to make a decision there. So there is our decision. 
which is then going to lead to our response. You know, what are we willing to do? What are we willing to make? And actually, yeah, you know, I, I actually do have to admit that it is something that's not that easy to not understand, but to also accept, at least at my point of view. So, but I wouldn't also necessarily say that you don't need negative thoughts. I mean, like, I don't know. I, I kind of believe that this at this point of time really in balance. And so, I don't know, like, just, I, I really, really, really go for positivity. Like, don't get me wrong. Negativity is just bullshit. You know, I would actually uh, like to kill negativity because like, nah, you know, it's the exact same thing as fear. Fear is just nonsensical at this point of time. But I think there is some good things to negative thoughts, you know, because maybe they bring you down to earth. Maybe they just, um, I don't know. I think we just need contrast, you know. We need contrast, some black and white contrast, you know, good and bad. We just need that. You know, we always have just contrast in life. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad, then it is good again, then it is just bad again, and so on and so on. So, so I think I think in general we need just a lot of contrast in life. Not always have an exact same motherfucking shit, but yeah, you know what I'm referring to. Uh, let's see, a positive and refreshing lifestyle design podcast. I see. You know, I wouldn't actually pitch there. But yeah, anyway, what is the theory behind dopamine detox? Uh, what premises from the conclusion? I'm actually not quite sure. I just know that people are like, okay, I'm not going to use my phone for anything um, just for a week or for a month or something, you know, so that my dopamine is right and that um, that I think you might, this is actually a pretty fucked up phone, <laughs> that you are going to respond to things differently, I guess, you know, that if you, um, maybe you're also going to be happier, you know, because it's hormones and stuff, and and I don't know, just because of fasting could be the case. I actually have to read about it, then I can talk about it. I do not really want to talk about things that I don't know anything about. Messed up logic. Why am I mean to people I care about? I'm always making jokes or roasting my close friends. Personally, I don't take them very seriously, but I never know if they think of me as an asshole because of, of those jokes. But when I'm around people I don't like or don't care about, I'm nice and actually care about how they feel. I do think that this is something that's pretty natural, you know? If if just if you're very comfortable with a person, then you know that, that they are not gonna be pissed, basically. You know, if if they're just really close friends, then you can be uh I don't want to say that you should be an asshole, but you can just make jokes and you know, you know for a fact, you know that it is gonna be fine if you joke about them. But of course, if it is some people that you don't like, which for me means that you're not spending a lot of time with them, then it is a little bit of a like, should I really say that thing? I know, should I, this is a speech bubble. <laughs> Let's do it like, you get the trick, you know? Should I really say something, you know? And you're probably gonna think like, well, no, I'm not gonna do that. Don't know where to ask this. If it is not the right subreddit, ask things like this. Maybe someone can tell me where I can ask. I'm 19, have zero motivation to do anything. I self-diagnose myself with ADD. Yeah, it's always good if you just self-diagnose yourself. Uh, mostly because in my country, doctors don't diagnose it. It is also suspect of avoiding personality disorder, continue, and things like that. I'm kind of pathetic for the last few years. And also family is not that rich and psychotherapists are expensive. There is actually, if you go online, you know, and search for... Uh, free psychotherapy. Yes, this is not how you write psychotherapy. You, you get the trick. And then you're going to find, I think, a site that is called CMHS or something, which is psychotherapy for free, totally free, free, free. But um, the thing is, it is not one-to-one. -one. So you're not in si sitting in front of a person, uh, which, which, by the way, I think it is just very easily done via the internet and stuff, um, but it is not the case. It is actually a bunch of questions, you know? You're asking yourself some questions and um, these questions lead to answers. And it is basically like just figuring out the stuff on your own, some kind of, and it is also, uh, I haven't had a look at the full program. This is an assumption of mine. It's not, I think, really how it works, but um, they are computer generated questions and yeah, just go through those, um, lectures and these lectures should teach you how to just you know just understand emotions and um and all sorts of things can i make a happy one as well yes i can and um 
yeah, this is what they do. And I think it is a pretty cool thing because I have been searching for free, um, for free psychotherapy as well. Not because I want to go in therapy, but I would actually like to have some real therapists on Reddit. And the problem that I'm seeing is that there is a bunch of different websites, you know, a bunch of different websites that are saying, okay, and also hotlines, you know, that you can just phone. And, um, but the problem is, I don't know how many people are actually using them, first of all, first thing. And second of all, why aren't those people just in, in those places where people really are that are in need of things, which is, for example, Reddit. There is a bunch of people with depression every single day. There's hundreds of just questions and thoughts about depression. But I don't know why uh, therapists are not there where all the people are. And this is something that I wanted to change. And uh, I might be able to just still do that, but I have to have a look at this. Um, but what is the question there, actually? Maybe I should uh, do it differently. I also met the claims that practices like meditation, microdosing, or hell, even the most common drug for ADHD, which is legal where I live, can cause HPPD. What? Meditation can cause HPPD. Like, of course, I mean, uh, everything can cause everything quite somehow. At least people say that. Once again, I have no money for therapists. I just need to find some treatment advices or else I'm permanently fucked. Do you have some advices for share? What do people say? I know how it feels and as much hopeless and animal. Thanks for sharing it is hard. I know one thing that you can keep in mind is that you are not alone. Many of us struggle. It is something that we are, that all these people say. But of course, I mean, it is a very, 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 um, it's a line, I think, you know, uh, and good advice is there and bad advice is there but sometimes the line is like this sometimes the line is like that sometimes the line goes from here to there you know sometimes it's it is just very 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 difficult to give good advice on reddit i think you know because we don't have the nuances if you go on reddit you don't just know the person if it is some some person that you know then you can give them very exact and very detailed advice but like this it is very very difficult at least in my point of view but we all should try, I think, you know, the, at this point of time, I do like to just go on Reddit and try to answer some questions to just, I don't know, be a nice person and feel good about myself, to, to really be honest. And, and I don't know. I think it's good. I think we all should do that. I think it is an amazing thing to, to help some people and um, just make them happy. And if they're happy, you're probably or maybe also going to be happy if you know that you've just done something good, something great something great i think at least deleting reddit after reading previous comments you guys helped a lot i decided i'm gonna take a break from reddit i also unsubbed to a lot of entertainment youtube channels so i can focus more on the important things in life which i think is a pretty cool thing uh, i want to delete instagram too but it is the main way for me to know what's going on around the world i'll try using it less though see you soon i mean you could use some other ways quite but yeah comparing myself to others demotivates me. Yeah, and it is in general something that a lot of people are doing and I think it is very natural. And I've actually having one episode which is actually pretty great on comparing ourselves to other people because there's actually more to it than it just being bad. Because if we um, indeed compare ourselves to other people, we are seeing where we are. You know, are we in front of them? Are we behind other people? Uh, you know, we can't kind of say how good we are if we don't compare ourselves to other people, which is also one of the reasons why we're actually doing it. We're not just doing it because we want to feel bad and we want to something, we want to have something bad for us. No, it's totally not the case, but we just want to know where we are. And, and of course, you're going to feel bad if you're just this person that is just behind. And you're going to feel good if you know that you're better than anyone else. But it might just be more about the response once again that you're having, you know? The thing that is happening is you are comparing, comparing yourself to other people. Then you have actually time and to make a decision. And this decision, this decision blah, 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 leads to response. And the response might be, response might be uh, you being happy or you being actually pretty mad that you're just worse than other people and all sorts of things. So. I don't know. I have a funny feeling that it is not really about, um, it's not really about comparing yourself to other people, which per se is 
also a strange thing. Like in this sense, I can totally understand it. And I think it also totally makes sense. But of course, uh, this person is completely different than that person. You know, they're not the same. So, so why should I compare myself? But I think it's definitely about the response thing. And the last one, so tempted to go back to toxic friends, you know, maybe because it's, I don't know, just they're uh, interesting people. I don't know. Uh, da, 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 da. I need someone to talk. There's actually a lot of, there's actually hotlines where you can talk to people. And I think this is pretty cool. So if you want to talk to somebody, there is hotlines in every single country. There is somebody to talk to. Is it normal? Is it normal to have a job that you hate the first minute until the last minute? That is how I see my job. I can't stand it. I call people to convince them to get information about college programs. I call people to convince them to get information. about. Um, no, it's not cool. And you should totally do something different. But I. But the good thing about that is that you're calling people and you're doing this job is that you know that you just don't want to do this. That this is something that makes you unhappy. So this leads to just trying out something new. And if this is something that you like, then you can just stick to it for quite some time. But if it is, again, something that makes you unhappy, then go to the next thing. I don't know. I think it is all about uh, trial and error. You know, sometimes it's going to be good. Sometimes it's going to be bad. Sometimes it's going to be completely fucked up. At least I feel about that. But I think the main takeaway from this video should be this one. And it is also something through talking, actually, and through just doing this, I've just also realized the whole comparing thing myself. You know, it's something that I've just now discovered, to really be honest. Um, we have time to make a decision. This is something we can do. We don't have to be angry. We don't have to be sad. We don't have to just be anything. Yeah, that's it. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I do hope that you've liked it. I do hope that the audio is fine. I really gonna try hard to just edit it in a good way. And this is also gonna be hopefully edited in a good way. And, and yeah, thank you very much. And yeah. I wish you best health and happiness and all success and also hope that you're going to remind yourself and you're going to be remembered, which basically means your legacy, you know, and also being remembered as a good person, which is a pretty cool thing in my point of view. Three other questions that I'm having for you are, why are you here? What are you trying to change? And what is bothering you the most? These three questions are hopefully going to show you your purpose and maybe even a business idea, which is a pretty nice thing as well. One other question that I'm having for you is, what could you particularly, particularly say uh, to another person, to multiple persons, but also, I mean, we can also talk about doing something. We can also talk about creating something, but what could you especially say, say that is really going to change their life and what they do and how they feel about things? What could you do? Because I totally think that we all, this person and these, we all can do something. Anyhow, with that being said, thank you very much from the bottom of my heart and I'm hopefully going to see you the next time. So bye-bye.